My name is Renee Walsh, and I've been attending Liberty Baptist Church since 1995. My name is Sammy Roberson, and I've been in church since I was 11. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. I am the youngest of five children. We did not grow up in a Christian home, though we had a Bible on our coffee table. There was never a mention of God. My only exposure to church was to be invited to Vacation Bible School, which I had uh, some great memories from. Yeah, when I was 11 years old, my parents were separated, and my mother and I, my sister, went to Louisiana so that my parents could try and reconcile. My brother was the first one in our family to get saved. He accepted Jesus Christ as his savior uh, at a time when his life was headed for destruction. He was drinking and really kind of not living a life that was good for his family. After a failed attempt of reconciliation, my mother and I, my sister, moved back to Long Beach. Uh, after my brother got saved, he really got on fire for the Lord and started inviting his family and his friends and everyone to church, and I did go. Uh, I was uh, a bit hesitant to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior, but my brother didn't stop there. One Thursday night, I got a knock on the door, and it was my brother and the music director. And they were out on what was known as Thursday night soul winning visitation. I invited them in, and they presented the gospel to me, and there on the spot I, accept, I surrendered and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. After about a month of living in Long Beach, a bus worker came by our house and knocked on our door and invited me to go to church. Um, at first I did not go, but after about two weeks, three weeks, he came by and knocked on my door and said, we're having hot dog Sunday. So that's when I went to church, and the first time I heard about Jesus. A few years later, I moved to California with my children after being in a pretty volatile marriage. I got a divorce. I took my children, I moved, and I took a lot of bitterness, pain, and anger with me. Uh, I, I did not get back into church. I thought I could handle everything on my own, a job taking care of my children, but in fact, uh, it, it was a pretty miserable and lonely night. life. Uh, things started to crash around me. After Sunday school, um, our teacher, Brother Meg Langston, would end the class by saying, boys, don't forget that Jesus loves you. And of course, because of what I've been through, I was skeptical and I questioned that. And probably about, maybe about a month after that, uh, one of the bus workers gave me a tape and the title of the tape was, Is There a Hell? And I listened to that for maybe, I don't know, three weeks. And um, one day in my bedroom, I realized that you know, Jesus, you know, he did love me. And the reason that, um, you know, he died on the cross is so that I would not have to go to hell. And it hit me like a ton of bricks in my bedroom. You know, I got conviction of the Holy Spirit and I trusted Christ that day. My brother who kept praying for me, knowing that I had not been going to church since I moved to California. He called me one night and he said, uh, Renee, the pastor at our church here in Jacksonville that you used to go to is gonna be preaching at a small church just two miles from your house there in Irvine. Why don't you go uh, listen to him preach and maybe even talk to him, it, it could mean a lot to you. I said I would do that. The Holy Spirit got a hold of me and I actually followed up on that. I went around to the church and it was very warm and welcoming. I, I can't even tell you particularly what that preacher preached that night, but I just remembered how good it felt to be back in the church again and just feel the, I was starting to feel something that I needed there. I've been saved for 22 years and life is so much better than what I could have ever imagined. Uh, truly, not only has Jesus given me salvation, uh, but he's also given me an abundant life. And you know, I've been married for seven years, have three beautiful children in the ministry, serving the Lord Jesus Christ, and just amazed that he can use somebody like me. I began attending Liberty Baptist Church very regularly after, after that. I uh, was uh, starting to just feel like it was the church that God had led me to. And one uh, particular Sunday, Pastor Tomlinson was preaching a, a message on Christ's forgiveness and letting go of of hate and discord that you have for people. And as I said earlier, I had been carrying all this bitterness and pain and really not, didn't have a relationship with God. I wasn't growing. Uh, I was still an angry person and I was empty and missing something. And I heard that message and 
the Holy Spirit got a hold of me and it gripped my heart and I realized that I couldn't love and have a relationship with God when I kept in me all this hate and bitterness and I went forward, I, I surrendered all of that anger and that guilt and I, I just repented and there was such a freedom that I, I felt right then and there that God gave me the peace, the joy, the desire to know Him better, to grow, to serve Him, to love Him, and to love others. I, all that release came in just that day, and my life has never been the same.